Wolf here, and I'm back with another video. And today's video is another mock build. I've been doing a lot of mocks because I've been bored and I just have broken sets and not even the ones that I just recently got. No, those are still intact. I mean, like older sets that I had broken a long time ago when I was like younger and didn't really care about the importance of stop motion with sets. But anyway, this is a really nice mock I built. I really wanted another thing for my world racing thing because. The last video I built a racing truck for it. If I can find the front piece, it's like that's the truck. Oh, there it is. Here's the front thing. And then, as you know, I'm building a bunch of Lego cars. So we got a truck, a race truck, and a rally car. Those are the two custom vehicles, and I'm gonna be using the Ferrari I got and the Spider Buggy and other cars. But this one, it something for the off-road thing like the other cars but this is a Baja truck now I've been always wanting to build a Baja truck and I never really figured it out and I'm actually gonna change something on the bottom and then I'll be back so I had to change something on the bottom because it didn't look right and now it kind of looks right I'm gonna put this a little piece right here so it fits but this is a really complex build like there's a lot of pieces and if you're looking at the bottom look at all the small like smooth tiles I use that is a lot. And the middle piece is actually from the lot. No, not Y wing. A wing set. This is I was gonna build this with suspension, but like I couldn't really do that without trying because I don't have any suspension pieces. But it's a nice little car build. Like I like it. And I think it's a really good color, like red, grey with some black and there's some under parts that are I might change those up. But yeah, it looks really good. Like, you can see some of their mute colors underneath. But yeah, if we take off, you can see the little... Well, first, we'll take off the little top part and then take out the window so you can take out the little driver. And as you can see, the top is like interesting how I built that up. Wait a minute, why is there another one of these? So do I have to fix something? I will fix that. Real quick, so I'm actually gonna put these pieces on it, and then we have um. So I just put that like that, so it's actually connected. Cause it's supposed to look like these are overhangs on a Baja truck. Cause Baja trucks have the big overhangs on the over the wheels, and I tried the best. I actually never built one, and this is way better than those mocks I used to build back in my day when I was younger. They they were terrible. So if we put the window back on. It kind of does look like a Baja truck. It's a simple Baja truck. Frick, I just broke it in the back. But it's really, it was a really fun build. Like, I got to try new elements that I never did before. But, yeah, I'm going to fix it up. It's kind of fragile because you don't want to push, push on it. Like, you give it pressure and it's freaking off the piece. I'll be back. A piece went into my camera stand that I had to cut something real quick. I had to uh, get that piece out. And you could see there's just like a head flying everywhere throughout my thing. But I know this video is going to be long because I'm getting an in-depth look. And it's like really complex and it, it's at some point it's not sturdy. Because I that was a design flaw I messed up. Because I'm trying to do something different. Now this I did not, I did not use my own chassis. This, I kind of did build up. What I'm trying to do is do this brick built chassis that I made, like using a certain piece, like the main piece I used was these pieces that, that inspired me with the spider buggy. So like I used those pieces and built up the chassis from there. With this, I used that piece from the A-Wing and it looks good. Like it has those holes on the side, but I just covered up those with white pieces. It's really, I'm starting to learn new building techniques and my mocks back in the day were awful, but we'll take we're taking a look at the um, front, like still in the middle. We're going into the middle section, and as you can see, I got a little driver dude here for the from the Lego City Airborne, one of the stop planes sets. And I just got a random guy, and we're gonna um, take off the top, put that back, and this is actually um has the light that most Baja trucks have on the front. And it's a really nice, interesting thing. And as you can see, I have little lights here too. And the front, the front has really nice lights. And we'll take a look in the inside. 
So the interior is kind of small, but kind of big at the same time. You got the steering wheel. It's like a standard city interior. Now, I don't think LEGO would go this far into making it with their own chassis and trying to make it um like this. And you could just set the figure in there and he's easy to remove. He's supposed to be like a truck off-road driver and you could just set the roof on. You gotta be careful because it's like freaking like heavy. This is like a 30 to 20, no this is like a $25 set because all the pieces in it. Or a $20 set. Then if we move to the back you got a nice little back and it, well, this was the hardest part trying to make it look like a Baja truck. And it kind of also looks like a real truck. More of a Baja truck because you got um, these little side things. I, I think it looks nice like. It looks like it's like leading into the truck and it's like a really nice interesting technique. And you can also take off that wheel in the back if you don't want it. And like take off this. Oh, and I know I'm using a smaller wheel but you can take off this piece off the wheel thing and have it like that. But I recommend having the wheel on it. It looks a lot nicer. Trust me. I have it like this and I think I have it. I don't know. I will have to fix um, either wheel way. But then I used this piece. I got that from the Lloyd Journey set. And it's a really nice color for that piece. And I think it looks nice contrasting with a bunch of pieces. Got a hook thing. And you don't have to have this piece here. Actually, I can remove that because it kind of doesn't look right. But this is a little bumper. And that connects right there like that. This is supposed to be like the exhaust port where I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. So I got some of my flame pieces. This is not a really flame piece, but it's supposed to be like something like the exhaust or something like this. Or you can use the red orange one, or you can use this. And that's what it's supposed to represent. And with the tire, you can move it up and down. I know I'm not using the same tire I used here, but it wouldn't look right. I had to use a smaller one. If I show you, if I use one of these ones, it does not fit in. Well, I guess it does, but it, the smaller one looks better. In my opinion. And it just... I like the white I used on it. Because if I would... I probably would have made it blue if I wanted to. But the gray would look a little bit weird with the blue. If you guys can't tell with my... Broken down scrap van that was going to be in the Savage Land. But I might take that out and just have it in like a random sitting pot. In the in the area. But it's a really... This is a really one of my most fun builds. This took like an hour to build. And I just really like it. It's a nice mock I built. There will not be a how to build tutorial unless I want to. Like, I wanted to do one with this and this, but these are really complex builds. There's, I'm starting to get into complexity. Now, there were some that were simple, like Mario Kart, but it's supposed to be simple. But, anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts on what you want me to do next. And I shall see you guys in the next video.